Good morning, Stenda Chimeli here with the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show. And here are some of the business news headlines for the week. The biggest tech company in the world, Apple, just launched a new addition to their collection of high-end flagship phones. The iPhone 16 series, consisting of the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max is priced at $999 and above based on the model, with the iPhone 16 Pro Max being Apple's most expensive iPhone, which comes with a bigger battery, a bigger display, and 256 gigabytes storage capacity. Now, despite the buzz, users have expressed mixed reactions online. While some expressed disappointment, expecting more than just a bigger display and a thinner design. Now, also among the new releases are the Apple AirPods 4, the AirPods Pro 2, and Apple Watch Series 10. On our next headline, the threat of imprisonment for minimum wage defaulters. The Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, while supporting the federal government's decision to begin the payment of the new minimum wage of 70,000 Naira to workers, has also expressed concerns about the threat of imprisonment for defaulters, describing the decision as unhelpful. In a statement by the national president of Nasima, Dele Oye, Nasima recommends the federal government's decision on the new minimum wage of 70,000 Naira. However, we express concerns about the threat of imprisonment for the defaulters as this is unhelpful. While we expect the local governments that have not yet implemented the new minimum wage to do so, we also urge the government to engage with stakeholders, including labor unions, in a collaborative manner to address the complaint of labor regarding the alleged breach of contract on the increase in the price of fuel and the economic challenges facing businesses and workers. According to the federal government, the new minimum wage was necessary due to, to address the current economic reality, emphasizing that no Nigerian worker, whether in the government or private employment, should be paid less than the minimum wage. Now, finally, on business news headlines, domestic airfare rises by 25%. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the average domestic airfare rose by 25.5% to 123,700 Naira in August 2024, from 98,000 Naira in July 2024. The federal, the federal capital and Niger state recorded the highest air transport charges with about 129,500 Naira, while the states with the least air ticket prices were Cross River and Zamfara states with an average of about 102,000 Naira per flight. On the other hand, road transport fare paid by passengers for intercity bus journey was at an average state at 7,000 Naira, with the highest bus transport fare recorded in Anambra state at 9,000 Naira, followed by Gombe with 8,300 Naira. The least bus fare was recorded in Kwara State with 5,500 Naira, followed by Ebony State with 5,600 Naira. Now that's it for the business news headlines on the Entrepreneur Spotlight. I'm Tender Chemelu signing out, reminding us to follow our Weekend Show NG on all social media platforms, follow our YouTube channel, subscribe to get the latest and all the recaps from all our previous episodes. Well, I'll be signing out for now and handing back over to Andy to wrap it up. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Tender. It's good to see you. I just wish we get good news when we talk about business and the country. Yeah, we do get good news sometimes. I think you know. core members will be happy. I here they're increasing their alawi from yes. 30 odds to about 70,000 naira. Yes, so yes. there are little bits that can be done, but we just expect it to get better and go yeah, across. But you do look lovely. Thank you so much.